Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. Let's talk safety glasses. I did a video a while ago where I mentioned it as, I don't even remember the context, but uh, I got a lot of stories back in the comments and I think I'd like to give you an opportunity to share your thoughts, your particular brands, uh, applications of these things and stories where it may or may not have saved you. Um, I've been using safety glasses you know, for a long time. I've always been kind of protective of my eyes. This was the first pair I bought. It was actually a, a Sears branded one, probably late 70s, early 80s. I still have them. You know, I've used them for painting, for drywall, drilling. You know, I, I, I moved away from these, but I still have them. Um, but got kind of a fly, McFly look to them from the 1950s. But anyway, uh, others... Uh, I moved to the Snap-on clear ones. I really like these. Snap-on rebrands them from other companies. Uh, for a while, they were Uvex, and I had experience with Uvex in the ski industry. Uh, they were a large goggle manufacturer. But these are great, inexpensive, good fit. You can adjust the temple uh, as far as the uh, vertical um, lo or the, the vertical shaft on it, as well as the extension. Um, for your particular ear placement and people's ears are not always lined up the same way symmetrically on their head in both fore and aft and up and down so that makes a difference plus I'll, I'll angle these differently depending on the job whether or not there's a, a risk for something to fly up underneath it um, so I'm I appreciate that uh, here here's a dark pair of Milwaukee's I don't know if they're still making these guys but uh, a lot of fence building, outdoor work. Um, I use these. Sometimes it's nice to have kind of a, a darker lens uh, for those bright days. Um, here's a 3M. Here's a couple of 3Ms. 3M makes a ton of these. This particular one, um, if you look up here, it says uh, they're Readers 2X. So it, if you notice, it's got magnifying lenses on the top and the bottom, kind of like a bifocal sort of here. So you can easily be doing some fine work, computer work, uh, soldering, etc., with a safety glass, but also a magnifier, so you don't have to double up with a magnifier and a goggle or something like that. This particular one here is 3M. I wish these had adjustable temples. They don't. They are fairly flexible, and you can put straps on them. They are, you can see there's a hole there, a clamp, basically, to, to strap. Um, but this has a nice... Uh, kind of a soft foam gasket around it. There are openings so it doesn't fog up near as much as as some of the um, you know rubberized gaskets. Uh, so that's actually quite nice, but you do get a better fit. Um, keeps a lot more uh, out, you know, basically a few decimal points maybe of debris when you're sawing or drilling or or um, you know chipping rock or hammering stuff or whatever. Um, however, it's not perfect. The other thing with these. Um, you know, it's a fairly small coverage, so your peripheral vision is a little bit reduced once you start closing in, but that's okay. Um, solid, solid performer there. Um, brought this one out. This is a Scott. It's actually an outdoor um, performance sunglass. Uh, use that, you know, when you might get a stick in the a stick in the eye or road debris thrown up in your face or something like that. Here's a common uh, classic design really inexpensive you can buy these by the dozen then you don't worry if you drop them you know you knock off you're know, working on a saw and you know just set them down when you're done and not try to find a way to prevent them from getting scratched just use them up just make sure that they're handy that's the biggest thing um, here's a classic pair of readers i have these things all over the place a little bit of a magnifier but um, you know, you're quick to grab it when you're using a tool because, you know, just in case. That's why you use these. Here's a pair of DeWalt's. These are uh, kind of a, a rubbery gasket. I have had these fog up. You know, it's a tighter seal. Um, but, you know, that's that's the least of your worries. In fact, you can see probably on the inside because I'm usually stopping and wiping them down so I can get a clean, um, a clean view again out of them. Crank that up a little bit. Uh, here's a no cry. Uh, this particular, I think it's a, yeah, no cry here. This particular one has a, a heavier gasket. Um, you know, I'm not going to get into the um, ANSI certifications, etc. Most of these, you know, anything is better. That's really what it comes down to. Is you really have to have something on your face covering your eyes, almost regardless of what it is, unless you know your your particular profession 
you know, demands a particular standard, but um, then you already know all this. But anyway, this one it fits nicely. This is a lot softer, so you get a nice cleaner fit. If you want to amp this thing up a little bit, you can put a face guard on it. Um, looks like this. I use stuff like this when I'm cutting tile um, or doing a bunch of um, uh, work. I don't use this for chainsawing, but I do, you know, obviously wear uh, I wear when I'm using a saw or a, a um, splitting maul, a hatchet, um, or a, uh, you know, some sort of an electronic split, I mean, a, a mechanical uh, splitter, hydraulic splitter. But uh, things like this can just make a big difference. Simple little thing, doesn't really affect the fit or finish much, the fit or feel much, but uh, well worth it when something goes bad. Here's another, this is a Univet. It actually takes uh, kind of the same idea behind these, the, the DeWalt and the No Cry as far as a kind of a, a softer rubbery gasket um, that fits snug around your face but combines it with a traditional sunglass temple that both, um, you know, extends like that, but also you can adjust the ups and downs so you can get a really good fit out of something like that. So it's a nice goggle or a nice kind of glasses goggle. Um, so anyway, there's some of mine. Um, have others floating around, but the the thing is to have them handy, to have them within reach. If you have to go get them, you probably won't, or it's a quick drill, or a quick saw, or you know, you just want to pound that in with a hammer, whatever, and then something goes bad. Um, you know, most of these the the these are a little bit better around fumes. Um, if you've got any toxic chemicals, etc., but they're not really designed for that. This. This is better than nothing, but it does leak, so you don't want to use that if that's really what you're trying to prevent. Um, however, um, they're inexpensive. There's all kinds of them. I'll put some Amazon links below to, for a few of these, but share what you use and share your stories. I mean, that's how we learn. So I'm kind of crowdsourcing this one. I'd like to know um, what's happened or what stories have you heard. I've seen all kinds of things. Had a few happen myself, but... Um, that's why I'm big into the safety glasses. Anyway, with that, Doc out.